I'm scared. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Oh. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, you crazy mother! Oh All God. right, let's let's go. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's a this guy's a crazy one. <laughs> You're okay though. Yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> oh, no. stopping so many times on this route because everything you see around here is absolutely incredibly beautiful. Check this out. There's everything. Sehr schön. Especially this one. As we stopped here, there was an eagle that we saw and uh, it's just flying around. There's another one's four. Oh. So we had just stopped back there to uh, check out the view and I was quickly doing some photos of a uh, of some trees that looked pretty pretty cool in the light and with the view in the background and all of a sudden a massive amount of vultures came over. It was uh, pretty insane. I didn't have the camera on when they first came but they, uh, they stayed around for a while and was just flying around the valley and it was really, really, really incredible. To be honest, on this trip, I've been feeling a little bit like, what am I doing? I'm just traveling around, hanging out, which I really love. But I'm the photographer inside of me hasn't been shooting so much and uh, haven't really seen so much that I'm like, oh, that's like really, really cool. And to be honest, having that experience just then, that made me, that made my heart get going. <laughs> Hey, thanks for finding such a nice place, sweetie. You're a legend. I really enjoy this place, it's stunning. It is pretty nice, eh? Mm -hmm. So come here. We'll be linking all the places we go in the, uh, we link in everything in the YouTube description. And if you have any questions or anything, of course, always leave them in the, uh, in the comments because I'll be checking them and I can help you out. Or you can message on Instagram or whatever it is. Uh, so yeah, great stuff, France. You're pretty nice. I can't believe I haven't come here with a van earlier. It's crazy. One thing I wanted to quickly mention before we completely lose light because it's getting pretty dark here is that there's actually tons of places on this route to free camp basically. So like, you know, you could free camp right there. And actually look at that, the small van's just coming up over here. So uh, it's actually a pretty sweet place if you just want to come drive the loop, enjoy the incredible views here in the evening. And you can just camp here, I guess, because there's tons. Tons of nice places. There's a guy having a campfire back there. So yeah, that's a pretty nice thing, you know, when you come and enjoy places like this and they're not kicking all the campers out. Maybe they do sometimes. Don't take my word for it. I'm not sure if it's the rule or not. But anyway, I just want to share that before uh, it gets too dark. So Nina and I are now going to go find a little camp place, settle up for the night, get some dinner. Good morning from the beautiful, again now, south coast of France. We have come all the way down to Camargue. It's a beautiful national park, so it's not too bad here at all. But we have come here on a little mission because here they have a lot of wild flamingos, which I think is pretty cool, and I've never photographed flamingos, so I figured I'd end this France trip in a beautiful place like this, photographing some wildlife, which uh, I'm a big fan of, to be honest. I don't photograph wildlife as much as I'd like, but every time I do it, it's the thing that kind of 
gets my blood pumping, so I love it a lot. Navigating through all of this landscape is a bit tricky and I'm not 100% sure where I'm allowed to walk and where I'm not allowed to walk. But it seems a bit weird that I would be allowed to walk through this area. So, anyway, it is what it is. Oh, here's a bunch of flamingos in the background. Well, it turns out photographing these guys is a little bit more challenging than one might expect, which is often the case with many things in life, eh? But, uh, yeah, I kind of got a little bit close to some. And they were hanging around for a bit, but I couldn't really, I didn't want to get too close in case I scared them off. And actually they ended up flying off anyway, so I don't know if they could just sense me being on the other side of the lake there, or if they were a little bit, uh, just going to find a cooler place, I'm not sure. See if I can snap a shot of it. So we're finishing our trip here in the west coast of France in a little place called Bida. I do believe it's pronounced like that, I hope it's like that. But it's a very famous little surf spot and it's absolutely beautiful. We're gonna be just enjoying this place for a day. We've kind of come, actually we're not staying in the van here, we got a little Airbnb. Actually it's just up here, check this out. Stunning trip, really, south of France. Very, very nice. We uh, actually, the whole plan with this little section of the trip was we were going to Portugal and we still are now going to Portugal, which is going to be the next trip. Uh, but the weather was looking a little bit average. So we thought, hey, why go to Portugal when the weather is a bit average? So that's why we've come to the France and it was meant to be three days. Now it's been, we've been here for six. So only because it's so nice. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this road trip. Thank you so much guys for watching. And uh, besides that, like, subscribe, do all that good stuff. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye. So we've now arrived on the west coast of Portugal. Oh, pfft. wrong country. <laughs> <laughs> I was so pumped for that one. All right. <laughs>